Listen up. We're Hebrew Israelites. We come out here every weekend and week out. To go to South Adolfo, a spooky place called America. And to bring these people on a side match with the true nationality. When you need Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you're the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. And we come out here every, every week and tell you the same thing, all right? You should know who these people are by now, all right? You should know what our message is or what the Most High's message is, all right? He's coming back, all right? And a, like today, I mean, he's coming back in a day in a, in a, in a day unawares, all right? A day that you're not going to be looking for, you're not going to be ready for. And that's really the best, the best type of uh, revenge is when your enemy is caught off guard by you, and you get to you get to see his full uh, the full emotions of uh, of his fear. All right, and the Most High, believe it or not, he hates every single one of you people, man. If, if you're not standing up here in the highways and byways, or you're not striving daily in your life to rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High, prescribed to the, prescribed to mankind, all right, he hates you, all right. And that's why he set it up to where uh, uh, that you're gonna believe a delusion, all right? You're gonna, uh, because like today, man, the Super Bowl, that's a, that's a delusion set up for you, a device, a crafty scheme to uh, keep you distracted, right? Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Right, and y'all, uh, you already know you're about to feast. You got your chips, your dip, your snacks, your beer, your buffalo wings, you know? You get, you're all getting ready to feast. And it's not even a holiday today. But you're all uh, prepping yourselves to watch a bunch of men in tights playing with the ball, man. Attacking each other. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, that's what you're doing. It's really, it's like, a, uh, if you think about it, it's like a more, it's like, uh, it's like what's Esau really trying to uh, do? What's his, what's his goal? Like, he has a bunch of men playing with the ball, man. You know? Homosexuality, I don't know, subliminally, man. But that's what's happening. They're grabbing each other. Spir spiritually, it's going back. Spiritually, this is Rome. And it's, they're all doing what the Romans did in old times where the uh, Colosseum sports, sports events. You know, they had the Olympics. You know, basically, that's what it is. But Esau did the sports. He's into that, uh, that type of uh, uh, activity. Sports, hunting. Uh, this is James 4 and 4. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. And, and man, it, it is, that's, that's clear. The scriptures tell you, man, that you're an enemy of the most high because you want to you wanna participate in all these activities the world's doing today like it's some, like some holy thing too. You act like the Most High is giving you a day of le a great leisure to have fun today, right? And, 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 I, and I was hearing people when I was at my job, and I was working for this company the other day, uh, they, were making, they were talking about today, the Super Bowl, apparently there's gonna be a bunch of great controversy, people are gonna be getting into it. You know, what's that about? That when the Most High, when you come together on the Sabbath, or on the Passover, or on the, uh, the first of the people, come together and, 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 and debate uh, I think that fruit's gonna be better today you know they weren't like that they got along they, they knew what it was but you people are just they're just bugged out you get y'all about to y'all about to feast like the first scripture we brought out it's better to go to the house of mourning than to, than to the house of feasting and this is a we're in a, uh, uh, we're in a time of war we've been telling you that this place is, is set is set for destruction it's been, again, it's been prescribed. It's been declared on America that this place is gonna be destroyed. And a lot of you people are gonna die. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse two. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Right, and, and believe and we already know there's no fear but there's no there's no fear before your eyes, especially today. Now one of you single people are thinking, maybe, maybe I might die today. Or 
maybe something great may happen today. Maybe some kind of uh, cataclysmic event may happen today or pop off. My chick will tell me something about it. is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. And it says that they have healed thee slightly. Who, who's that? Well, basically, today, this day, is spread out from the so-called white man. Like the Father's God does say, the so-called white man is into sporting. It tells you that in the scriptures, he likes to sport things. He likes to uh, try, out, or try them out, see how far he can push it. And that's like one of the, one of the things he's doing today. He knows he's got you. He, the so-called white man knows he has you, people, man. It's, it's, no, it's no new thing anymore. But like, 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 the, like the scripture said, man, they're the ones who told you that stuff. So-called white man, the devil. All right, he's an Edomite. Uh, Jeremiah 8 and 12, where they are saying when they had committed abomination, nay, they were not, as, they were, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitate of the in the time of their visitation they shall cast down, saith the Lord. Right, and in the day of their visit in the day of your visitation. And it's right around the corner, man. It's right around the corner. Believe it or not, it's, when, when, we, when, we, when we preach to y'all people all the time, it's right there around the corner, man. We I mean we've already been getting the signs. Alright, we've been having all these all these deaths, all these unrighteous deaths. Right? People kill it, or he saw killing up all these. You've been having the wars, you've been having the, uh, the signs for the constellations of the stars. All right? But it's, it's, it's getting to where it's going to finally just, that's it. All right? We're not, where it says that we're not going to be out here preaching anymore. Y'all going to start seeking us. You're going to start seeking the, the right way. And it's going to be too late. Because you didn't want it, you didn't want it, you didn't want it to submit yourself. Like the Most High said, that you have profaned his ways. It was always about what the Most High wanted, not what you wanted. Jeremiah 8 and 13. I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still? Why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves and let us enter into the defense cities and let us be silent there. For the Lord our God hath put us to silence and given us water of gall to drink. 
because we have sinned against the Lord. Yep, because you have sinned against the Lord, man. Because everything the brother was reading, you, you kept on doing. And it's, he said, but like the, the beautiful part, he says, I will surely consume thee. Not one of you can, not one of y'all will be able to deny in that day that what we were telling you was a lie or what the scriptures were telling you was a lie. We looked for peace, but no good came. And for a time of health, and behold, trouble. And behold, trouble. And a time of health, behold, trouble. When you were calling for help, you were getting nothing but evil. Where's that one? That's the time of Jacob's uh, trouble. That's what's about to come. You know, upon you Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all hell's about to break loose upon you. You know? That's who Esau primarily is having a lot of trouble with here in his uh, above city. And he's about to uh, like uh, implement martial law, like we've always been saying for years and years and years, starting with the elders. We're going to continue to say it and say it because anytime a city was ransacked, taken over, a, a, a military force came in. And the scriptures say that all these things were ready for our learning. You go back to the time of uh, Antiochus Epiphany, uh, the bad one, it shows you that he, 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 he had. Uh, he intruded into the land of Israel, man, and, and destroyed them. You know, and, and, and made them leave away, uh, cast away their customs, their traditions. <laughs> History always repeats itself. Alright, this is Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 10. <clears throat> Thus said the Lord unto this people. Thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore the Lord doth not accept them. He will not remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then said the Lord unto me, pray not, pray not for this people for their good, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. When they offer for offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, Lot, then said I, I, Lord God, behold, the prophet said to them, you shall not see the sword, neither shall you have famine, but I will give you a certain peace in this place. Yeah, so basically, you're, you're starting with the, uh, your leaders, your political leaders, uh, your, uh, your pastors in the churches, and your mommy and your daddy, the ones that claim they're spiritual, they're the ones that are telling you that there's going to be peace here. you got to pray. But nowhere in the scriptures did it ever uh, say that. And engulfed with flames. That's the that's the outcome, and that's the truth. That's what the Bible speaks about. The Bi this Bible is about life and death. It ain't about just life. It tells you that if you err away from the scriptures, the law, you're gonna die. Even if you decide not to follow the law, you decide not to read the law, and still you're still gonna be judged by the law. There's no escape in Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Just like you can't escape Esau's laws, you can't escape the laws of America. You cannot escape the laws of your job or your uh, your household. You, there's there's consequences. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh is the main one that you will never escape. You'll die and die and die, and come back, living your life, living your life. Eventually, you're gonna meet your Maker face to face. 
And the scriptures say he is a consuming fire. And that's 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 the that's the uh, the the vengeful side of him, man. The wrath, the 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 the, 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 the wrath, the wrathful side of, of Yahweh Shai. voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And who's that coming from? <coughs> That's coming from the, the men, the elect men on the highways and the byways. Like the elders say, this truth is un unadulterated with no glitter or glamour. Truth. Okay? It's, 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 the, it's the truth. It's raw. Ask ye now and, and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck. I will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But before the Lord saves the, the elect, Jacob, there's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. And that's the time we're approaching. And we're in right now. sit upon sin, but just because you're just going to have that much of a greater judgment. And a lot of y'all people, believe it or not, man, and believe, you little kids, you women, you old people, you got an incredible judgment right there on the top of your head. The death angels is chilling above all of y'all. scripture where it says who can escape the hand of the Lord or the judgment of the Lord? None can escape out of the hand God is jealous and the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. He will not at all quit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm the clouds are the dust of his feet. I'm going to jump down to verse 6. Who can stand before his indignation? of his anger. His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good and is strong in the day of trouble and he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood he will make an utter end of the place thereof and darkness shall pursue his enemies. So that's that that that's the uh that's what's coming. That's what's coming not peace. Like we keep telling you, we're not in a time of peace. We're not in a time to uh, to settle down here, to uh, come find comfort here.